I didn't know that. I'm well, coming to London. Well, you're uh, going to Birmingham. So I'm not, not with you? No, you're going, you're going, to, you're going to a fan <laughs> convention in August. Yeah. He yeah. knows your schedule. If, if, if I can go, if, I, if, if work lets me. Yeah. As of right now, I'm going. Yeah, but basically May is when I'm getting Dylan and the others to go. Oh, really? Yeah, but you can't go because you booked another show with Tyler. He'll, he'll get with you on your schedule. Yeah. Let's talk to yeah. you about the show. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk to you. Oh, 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 in August. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's go to Bolt. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, so season three, we got some bad villains coming to town. Are yes. you guys going to be ready for it? Is that going to, uh, like, ruffle some feathers with uh, Derek and Scott? Uh, well, no, they're they're really tight now. They're, like, they're allies. They're older. They're mature. They, they're accepting <coughs> more. Um, so they're buddies. They're definitely buddies. And it's all, because cause Derek has seen Scott grow into, like, a mature little dude and, like, knows that Scott can handle his, his business. And um, and Derek is kind of, like, uh, less mature than Scott is sometimes, it seems like. So, because uh, so, Derek's a big baby, you know? He's yeah. a big baby. Um, he, can't, he can't defend himself right now. It's exactly. Me. Exactly. Wait, why can't he? No, he's not here. Oh. Exactly. So that's, <laughs> that means we can talk about it even more. Okay, you're a rebel rouser, aren't you? <laughs> I'm what? The rebel rouser on the show. Yes, I am. Um, yeah, I, we fight. We have a fight club on the show. And, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not sure we're supposed to talk that's about it. That's not fight club. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm tired of dirty. No, okay, I'm done. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Um, what was the question? All no, the villains coming to town. Oh, yeah. What about them? What can you say about them? Yes. Uh, how big and... How, how much trouble is Scott well, right, going right, to be right in now, with they them? Right now, they just look like normal people because they're werewolves, you know, they're alphas. Um, but they're they're in a buttload of trouble, and they, they all almost die a bunch of times. Mm-hmm. So uh, The villains or the good guys? Well, good guys. <laughs> mostly, mostly the good guys. The villains are really good at not dying, <laughs> um, but... Uh, but everyone, everyone almost dies. You ever get down with Jeff and say, what's up with all these guys? We kill them off and you bring them right back on us. I mean, uh, hey. I think, yeah, it's kind of a joke now. It's kind of like a, a raining joke around the set. It's to, like, once, whenever somebody's die, someone dies on the set, we'll be like, oh, I'm sorry. We'll see you next season. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I think, I think that's kind of funny. So. <clears throat> so you're not fearing death too much these days. You're like, yeah, I'll be brought back. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. If they kill me, I think... Uh, Will the, will the show, will, can the show still happen if I'm, if I'm gone? <laughs> <laughs> it can, right? That is the question you want to be asking Jeff. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I, think it could, I think the show could go on, hopefully. But considering you are the, the team, team wolf. wolf. <laughs> <laughs> yes. My little, my little brother looks just like me, so maybe, we can, maybe he could be my, my stand-in guy. So have they surprised you at all, the direction they've taken your character? Yeah, this season's really cool. Like, uh, the, the, the last two seasons were really fun. Um, really great to do and like the best part of my life but uh, this season we're diving into so much more acting I feel like, like um, bigger scenes um, monologues and stuff and it's just so much fun to do that because uh, you know with all the action and, and everything else you know we still get to do like really good fun acting scenes and the show is just really well rounded and awesome to do so uh, what did you ask me? Oh my god if they take it in anywhere that you didn't expect yes so yes they did answer. Deeper with the acting. Will there be a lot less transitions then? What do you mean? Transitions from into werewolves. Into werewolves. Oh, uh, like transformations? Yeah, yeah transformations. Um, uh, no, no. I'm still. There's still plenty of werewolves. There's, there's still a lot of, of, of crazy fight. Because because with with all the good acting, there's even more fight scenes. So it's like I don't know how there's room for all this stuff. It keeps getting bigger. But maybe that's why there's 24 episodes this season. Um, have you guys actually filmed all 24 yet? No, no. Are you halfway there? <laughs> no, we're like on episode 9. Oh. And I feel like we'll never get done. <laughs> what, what, how do you feel about that? Uh, it's awesome. Forward? It's great. I love it. It's, it's, you know, they have a lot of faith in us that we can we can do really well. And you know, I, I do too. I think we'll, I think we'll do great. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff to do, you know? So we'll be busy for a long time, but it'll all pay off, you know? It'll be great, you know? And thank God the show is so much fun to work on. And I was like, we're crazy, um, but, uh, but it's, it's, it's a lot of work. With it being more physical, are you guys doing more fight training? Um, no, we don't have time. We don't, they, we do not have time to, to, to train or anything, you know? Cause like the scripts are, are written, um, and then given out and it, there's like not a lot of time to prepare for them. Um, so we don't have like months of time in advance to prepare for what we're going to do, you know? 
So we don't know what we're going to shoot. Uh, we, we can't, we can't, we can't like train for it. Um, so it's always just on the like on the day that we that we're shown these 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 stunts and we have to do them. But thank God we're like pretty athletic dudes, so we can we can tackle it. We, it's it's no big problem for us uh, for the most part. But we we also have like the coolest stunt dudes ever, the best stunt guys ever. So so uh, they they help out a lot. What's it been like for you guys moving locations from Georgia out here to California? It's been, it's been awesome. I, Did I, all of the crew come with you, or is it a new crew? No, that's, that's the thing that kind of sucks. There's a lot of people <coughs> that, we, uh, that I miss that, that didn't get to make it out. You know, we, we, the last two seasons, we've, we've gained some really, really good friends and saw them every day you know, for the last two years. And, uh, a lot of them didn't make it out with us, but you know some of them did, and you know I, 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 love, I love filming here. It's made such a big difference. And, I don't know about the quality of the work, but it really does feel different. The show, it has a different feel to it, and it's, and it, it's uh, I think it's better, and I think everyone's happier, and, you know, uh, but, but being in Atlanta was so much fun, like, I love it. I felt like it was like our own little pod of, you know, closure, and we all, I don't know, I just had a lot of fun. It felt like camp, like summer camp or something, you know. Uh, Dylan was just saying a little of a spoiler here that perhaps Styles and uh, Scott aren't working together as much this season. They've got different journeys they're on. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, but they're still they're still 100% best friends, you know. Um, they've just uh, they've just they they've got their own lives, you know. Uh, Styles is helping out with his dad. His dad's going through some crazy stuff, and, uh, and they they're they're both like the the, the leaders and, and, and protectors of Beacon Hills. And there's so much stuff happening right now that they both can't be together. They need to be in different places to help protect it as much as they can, you know. So uh, so it's intense, very very intense. So there's not that much Scott and Styles this season, or yet. Yeah, it's only the beginning of the season. Um, so uh, but there but the scenes that we have are oh, so good, so much fun to work on. I love them. Oh, I was going to switch gears in a little second. But, I, was, um, no, I was going to say about Allison. Yeah, yeah, I was going to ask about Allison. Yeah, your, so. your relationship <laughs> seems to always be tortured, and there's never, there's never a happy moment, really. No. So would you wish it should be there was happy moments, or can you tell us where it's going so far? So far, uh, you know, they have these scenes where um, they'll be really close to each other, and then it looks like they're going to kiss or almost kiss, and uh, they, never, they never do because they're maturing a lot and realizing that... Uh, they, whenever they're together, they're stressed out a lot, like you said, and, and there's never a happy moment. So right now, they're taking a step back and seeing they, if they can get to a point, to like a maturity where they can start dating again and you know be okay and not uh, hate life all the time when they're together. So they're working it out. What about her dad? I mean, he's still gonna not be on board with Scott. Uh, no, no, definitely not. But um, but his Gerard or Jr's <coughs> world. Arjun's world was like flipped around when when his dad, you know, uh, threw away the code, and, and, and so he doesn't know what to believe anymore. So he's uh, um, he's kind of he, he and Scott have some really good scenes this season, and, uh, some ally scenes, and it's, it's awesome. It's really cool. And Scott rides a motorcycle this season, which is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Does 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 he, does he know how to ride a motorcycle? <laughs> he does. He definitely does. But they so so listen to this. They make me get my motorcycle license. And I'm like, all right, cool. I was gonna say. I so, that so I, 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 didn't, I didn't know I would like motorcycle riding that much. So I went to my first test, my motorcycle test, and I, I loved it. I had so much fun, and I bought my, I bought a motorcycle. And I got my dad a motorcycle, and so like I'm a motorcycle rider now. Uh, but they won't let me ride the damn motorcycle on set. So I went through all this work to get the to get the test so they to get the permit or the the, 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 license. the license. But um, they won't let me ride it. I don't know why. What Can I tell you why? Oh, sure. they Maybe it may, yeah, they wanted you to stay the Teen Wolf. Not. I wanted I wanted uh, Styles to have a sidecar in, in the motorcycle. Wouldn't that be perfect? Um, I have Scott has like a dirt bike, a green Kawasaki dirt bike. It's like a two-stroke. It's really hard to ride. Maybe that's why they want me to ride it. And I have a Triumph Bonneville. And it's awesome. <laughs> and again, a, a lot of work done to it right now. I just I like got new exhaust on it, and it's louder, and it's just really fun. Sorry, I'm gonna mix up. I'm out of That's it. That's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. So, would you describe like the tone of next season as being darker? What do you think uh, it is? Yeah, it's 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 darker. It's more cinematic in every aspect. You know, it looks more like a movie. It, uh, it, it feels more like a movie. The scenes are drawn out and great and well produced, and uh, uh, 
I don't remember the beginning of your question. <laughs> is it a darker season? It's oh, a darker, darker season. season. How yes. would you describe the tone? Yeah, it's, it, it is totally darker. Um, but it also has like more life to it, and the way that it's shot is just uh, brighter and more open. But it's, the tones are darker, and it's just so. Ugh. I can't. I can't describe it. It's just. It's just. It's just the best thing on TV. Okay. Know, De- Dexter is great though. This is the best show ever. I don't know. And then Breaking Bad's in there too. What Teen Wolf, Dexter, Breaking Bad? Damn it! I don't know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, Team Wolf's cool. Do you watch <laughs> other uh, shows about about werewolves? No, I don't. I do I? Like True, True Blood. Blood. Hamlet Grove. Vampire Diaries. What? Hamlet Grove. What they got that? the best transformation scene you've ever seen for really? a werewolf. I'm yeah. sorry. So they got tattoos. Oh, that's cool. We've never really filmed a good transformation scene. They've done it. They showed it here yesterday. <laughs> awesome, no way. You'll yeah. have to check it out. Netflix, April 19th. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, I don't really watch too many werewolf shows. I watched True Blood for like a couple episodes. The fourth season, I think it was good. It's really cool, um, but no, I don't. I don't watch a lot, of, a lot of stuff. Except for Breaking Bad. Except for Breaking Bad. Dexter. Good choice. And like ridiculousness and uh, and America's Funniest Home Videos and Tosh Point oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Workaholics. Workaholics. Yeah, I thought. I'm amazed you have time to watch TV. <laughs> what? I'm amazed you have the time. Yeah. We didn't run. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 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 Cool. Thank you. Thank you.